Hello everyone, my name is Fabo and welcome back to Minecraft FTP Infinity Evolved. In today's video I want to talk about indie games. As I mentioned in the last episode of Minecraft, I often prefer indie games over AAA titles. And I have multiple reasons for that. First of all, indie games do not rely on stockholders, but more um, on the choices of the developer. And in most cases, the developer cares more about making a good game the player would enjoy, because developers, indie developers, tend to know both the side of the developer and of the player, so they also know what the player is more likely to want or enjoy. And sure, there are indie developers who will deliver half-assed work, aka just terrible games or lazy games, or there are developers that are greedy, but in my opinion it's easier to avoid the work of individual developers who don't um, make good games or don't want to make good games um, in comparison to avoiding big corporations that own multiple big franchises because if the company has a lot of um, franchises you might care about you have more of a problem than if it's just an indie developer who may just have one title that or one series that is big. Another reason is that indie developers tend to be more willing to take gambles on game ideas or game mechanics compared to AAA studios, since AAA studios have more to lose and tend to play it safer by using mainstream mechanics or making a game a certain way to appease certain target groups. And if you actually think about the more popular games over the past few years, most of them started out as in games too. And I know that the games I'm gonna talk about are slightly older, like partially over a decade. But one example is Minecraft, which also started out as an indie game made by Notch and Mojang. And if you are being honest, if it wasn't indie, it probably wouldn't even exist in the way it does now. Or it would have died very fast. Because a sandbox game like this kind of lives off an interactive community and frequent devlogs at least until it gains a certain amount of popularity. A triple A studio probably wouldn't have given off the same vibes of interaction and I know considering how Mojang goes with the mob votes or general community stuff I don't think it's as community driven as it tries to be or even as it used to be and I think there would have been a higher expectation of features um, if it had always been belonging to a triple A studio instead of um, being a sandbox game that is slowly expanded on as it was. And I do understand that my opinion is very likely not the major opinion about Minecraft, but I think ever since it got sold to Microsoft, I feel less excited about newer gameplay mechanics. And as someone who started playing Minecraft a few months after it got sold to Microsoft, my favorite version is still is 1.7.10. 1.8 is still all right. And that was the version I started on. But I feel like something started to go missing after 1.7.10. But that's it about Minecraft specifically. Another example is Scott Coffin with Five Nights at Freddy's. Scott started working on Five Nights at Freddy's because the previous games he made were criticized for looking more scary instead of the wholesome way he intended to make them. And then he was frustrated and decided to make a final game and if it would fail he would have quit development altogether and 
In that final game, Five Nights at Freddy's, he experimented with gameplay mechanics to make a horror game where you can't move much and used his design skills that were criticized in as looking scary to make designs for horror game characters aka the animatronics and made a series that was revolutionizing the indie gaming community and I feel like that after he stopped making the Five Nights at Freddy's games himself and hiring a triple A company to work on them. I feel like the games, while they still are interesting, kind of lost the spark and the unique mechanics and changed more into a generic horror game. Like there isn't much of a difference when you compare them to other 3D horror games nowadays with the games made by Steelwool. Um, and I'm not saying that Steel Wolves, Five Nights at Freddy's games are automatically bad, even though some of the community might think so. But I believe that I feel like when Scott made the games himself, I felt more excited about them. I still enjoy the newer games, but I feel like they are not as special to me as they used to. And I do admit that AAA series often make better graphics. But graphics are not that important to me. I care more about the end result and how exciting a game makes me feel from being announced to the moment I play the game and always awaiting and feeling excited on what happens next. And if I'm being honest, I haven't had that feeling with AAA games except for Resident Evil Village. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Please like and subscribe to support me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!